I'll go down on the floor. Yeah, this appears to be the problem with us uh, these days that there's too, too many of us. No, there's not enough. Yeah, not enough. Only a million people in Estonia, but there's too many of us. <laughs> really, the name of the station. I love that's it. not us, that's not us, that's not us. <laughs> that's not you. No, we're giving them free promotion, they're paying us. What's the name of it? He oh, doesn't yeah, know it yet, yeah, he's paying us. That's that's right. Right. That's yeah, that's that's that back in the background, oh, there we go. <laughs> Are you, uh, sorry, just push us forward if we're in your way, I'm so sorry. Where are we going? All right, what do you want to know? Well, I wanted to know if I could join you boys on stage in Malmo, but there's six of you already, and yeah. that's against the rules. Guys, how are you doing? We're here with, uh, I'm, I'm so sorry, Estonian for a British guy is so hard to say, but I'm going to say five minust that's so wrong isn't it and you can try, you can try saying uh, vis the number five in estonian is vis vis so vis minust vis minust and and pulup yes. yep. hey guys how you doing welcome to london how excited are you to be here yeah. very 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 yeah, always, excited very always, excited uh, always a pleasure to come to london some yeah. great football games happening today uh, you're gonna put me on the spot if you start <laughs> talking to me about football it's not my not my forte but who are you supporting uh, nothing from London, really. Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Who do you support if you're a football fan? Uh, Borussia Dortmund is my team, yeah. Who? Uh, Borussia Dortmund from Germany. Dortmund, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Um, Chelsea, I've been a Chelsea guy for almost 15 years now, I think. Yeah. Now we're talking. If I told you who I support, you won't have heard of them. I'm a Norwich City supporter, because that's where I'm from. You had, you had the nice uh, Finn Demo Bucchi there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. He's a good I'm like, oh, we'll just do the interview with you. <laughs> <laughs> but guys, and look at these faces when we talk about football. They're like, yeah, we'll support <laughs> Arsenal, Arsenal. <laughs> we us hear about Estonian. Yeah, let's skip, skip football. Let's skip What's football. Estonian football like? Oh, oh, it's, it's bad. Don't it's bad. It's, it's a shambles, there. man. It's a shambles. It's, uh, it's a like, one man show run by a very, very corrupt guy. It's a hundred euro bottle jobs. It's like English children playing. It's probably oh, really? to say the least. No, Send them over here. We'll give them some lessons. <laughs> maybe we need, we need to be uh, critic- We need to be critical about it because it's been for far too long that we play uh, rubbish. Yeah, we had club on here in Liverpool, so one of our, one of them has been here at least. Anyway, boys, we have to talk about uh, your song. Oh, yeah, right. I have to say that um, <laughs> this as well. when I when I first watched your song, I was like, for the first like, few seconds, I was like, what the fuck is going on here? That's and exactly then what we wanted to do perfect, with it. Yeah. Yeah. Is that? Yeah. You have to be guessing. But you've had such an amazing reaction. And by the end, I want it, I want it to be you guys, because you guys look like you're having the most fun <laughs> on stage. <laughs> but it's, it's such, such like a fun performance to watch, a fun song to listen to. Yeah, that's the whole point, I have no idea what it's about, um, but it just makes you feel happy. Uh, and, and we're always down for a song about drugs. Um, but uh, how did you guys feel about the reaction to the song, first of all? Because it was, it was kind of big, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, reaction all happy in, days, man. Reaction in Estonia or a reaction uh, from... All well, everywhere, because you've now got friends all around the world, new fans. That's really nice that we've got new fans all around the world. Some of them even came to Estonia, to STLO, like to support us. And that was like London, London version of Windows 95, man. <laughs> I thought that was Windows 95, man, yeah, for a second. Yeah, yeah. When could, you he had pants. It could have, yeah, he had pants, though. Yeah. <laughs> Rules. But yeah, you've, you've got all these new fans. Like, What kind of countries have you been getting messages from that have been like... Actually, we were top 13 in, uh, in the Netherlands viral, fi- uh, viral chart, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah. Ramo, Ramo has been getting a lot of messages from yeah, different he's been following. He's the data guy. Uh, what kind of countries have you had messages from uh, after we released the songs and participated in Eesti Laula? Uh, yeah, Spain, uh, Germany, Portuguese, uh, France, uh, Latvia, Lithuania. Um, <laughs> I love it. He's just like really not for listening. He's just like yeah, everywhere, <laughs> the world. So you're the most famous then in this in this collab. Uh, hmm. Ireland, uh, <laughs> Iceland. Iceland. <laughs> but guys, I have to ask, because obviously it is a collaboration between kind of two very different music styles. How the hell did it happen? Like, was it a kind of after a drunk night out, we decided it's going to happen? Is it something that you've been looking to make it happen for a long time? Whose crazy idea was this to come up with this? We were watching them perform at the Estonian Music Awards uh, 2019. And uh, Christian right here uh, decided to uh, pick up his phone give these guys a call and say uh, you want to try something interesting yeah it was like uh, you do different music you do like completely different music from us 
let's try to do some collab. And like generally, we have done a lot of features over the years, like these minus and Pulup has we done never, none. Basically, yeah. we we have practically never done anything like that. Uh, so first we thought, okay, uh, it's uh, a little bit even absurd, uh, us and these minus together on the stage. Uh, and so we said yes, uh, it's, it's you know out of the comfort zone, out of, out of the things that you would expect. Uh, but uh, we've always uh, also listened to hip hop music, and uh, so it's not like completely alien style or something. So we mix different styles to cool look music, and and when we met first time, uh, we just had in mind let's do a concert together, and it and then we discovered uh, that there's so much uh, very good uh, syner synergy. <laughs> And uh, it started to happen, so we just wanted to hang out together, make music, and uh, now we are going to release an album. Yeah, first a whole album, album the together. Zone and then back into the comfort zone again, like really quickly. Released in uh, late April, was it 26th of April? 26th of April, uh, our album called uh, Sufferings. Sufferings. Uh, there is no stop block on the village swing. No, there's no what, sorry? There is stop no block. stop block on the village you know, swing. You know these uh, pagan village swings? And we like get four people on one side, four people on the other side. Yeah. These wooden yeah, contraptions, and they have usually they have like stop blocks so that they won't do the somersaults. Okay, okay, but, okay. Uh, in, in our sense, the stop blocks are missing, so it's so uh, so it's, it's, it's it just keeps going. It's suffering, and it's suffering, and it's suffering. <laughs> but it's it's a it's good suffering. Okay. But I want to know, like, you pitched this idea to them. How long did they leave you hanging for before they said uh, yes? That was actually how long did you think about the idea? Uh, yes, um, at least uh, three seconds, I guess. Oh, there we go. <laughs> three seconds, three seconds. I it was longer, but all right. Now, I want to know, because uh, I always find, uh, when it comes to kind of, like, the Estonian music scene, it seems very, very diverse, like, kind of, I've not heard Estonian hip-hop before, I've heard, like, a lot of electronica. Which kind of Estonian artists, other than each other, um, would you say are kind of, like, your idols or people that you look up to or people that you really respect? And I'm going to go around. You each have to answer. So your favourite Estonian um, artists? Uh, I, I don't know if it's my favourite, favourite, but the first thing that just came to my mind is uh, Vaiko Eplik. Yeah, hard to say the favourite one, but uh, I really enjoyed listening to Nöp because he does all the things alone. He does international music. And all of his songs kind of like, they, they sound like really good radio stuff, like really thought out melodies. Yeah. Boy Pepperoni. Yes. Boy Pepperoni. Boy Pepperoni. That's not one that I know. He's uh, signed to our record label, yeah. and he's uh, he's the most talented guy I have ever met. All right. So you guys have to check out Boy Pepperoni. Yeah, I have to say the same because uh, we both are uh, part owners of the record label. <laughs> so Boy Pepperoni. Oh, so there's a little business decision, business answer going on. Look it up, Boy Pepperoni. But he's really, really good. Other than he, it. even if he wasn't uh, signed to us, I would say Boy Pepperoni. My answer is very cliche. My favorite composer is Arvo Bert. He is most famous, famous Estonian, I think. He is. And, uh, of course, uh, he is old now, but but all during his life, he has made so nice composing, so nice music. And uh, and when we when we travel just as Pulup, then we very often travel with other Estonian. Uh, uh, folk or world music artists uh, like uh, Duo Root or Mari Kalkun or uh, Trada Tak, uh, to name just a few. So come to Viljandi Folk Music Festival and experience uh, the very young energy of, uh, of Estonian folk and then you won't be surprised that we're doing this kind of collabs. Okay, well there you go guys, there's a tip if you're travelling to Estonia. Um, now I want to know, since the collaboration uh, has happened, is there something that you guys have learned from these guys and the other way around? I think I think we have. Uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, I nearly injured him. That's all right. That's all right. Uh, I think the. I was trying to get my spot on stage. You see, I was trying to get rid of you. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, you have to do more than that. But uh, I think uh, most of uh, learned from these guys is to be more uh, reserved. You know, uh, be uh, less uh, <laughs> less hot headed when we. Because I mean, we used to get into a lot of arguments, and this is how we communicated in bands. We like. We are uh, argue it's argue things out, out. Yeah? yeah, and like with an old Italian family, so we yell at each yeah, other all the people, time. People think that we hate our guts sometimes when they say yes, but actually it's not. It's not like that. It's just like we, this is how we deal things. But uh, meeting with those guys, we understood that you can be more cool down. You don't have to scream all the time. 
uh, and yeah, I think that's uh, that's the um, sa saves your voice as well, you know. I mean, that's kind of you literally just explain brotherhood to me because I'm thinking no. of my brother. We argue like anything, but I love him more than anyone, and it's sometimes it's a healthy way to way to be and a good way to express feelings. Musically, for me also, it's like using maybe my voice more because Marco really knows how to uh, make different characters out of his voice, like very low pitch sounds, very high pitch, very like different melodic weird characters you, you could have like five different characters in one verse going on and that's what that's what he does like real well and guys what have you learned from uh, i'm gonna uh, i've forgotten how to say it. vis vis minus vis minus uh, discipline <laughs> <laughs> is that sarcasm or is that <laughs> no i'm uh, actually quite serious when we uh, when it uh, co comes to the creative process and you have like a band camp, it's only a few hours of this uh, time that you have and then they really they are really concentrated. Okay, now let's do this and and uh, Korea tells, okay, first let's do this melody. Okay, then we create something and, and then it, it, it is very efficient and, uh, and, and we always know where we are at the creation uh, when we create a new song. It's not just... Uh, some random uh, jam session and uh, later, later analyzing the material, but very, very like uh, systemic, and uh, it gives uh, a kind of um, l you know concentrates the energy and uh, it it actually makes it uh, easier to create something. Plus, of course, uh, uh, all this uh, rap background and uh, and uh, idea that now now we're going to make. Uh, lyrics for this and uh, now we are immediately singing it with the same vibe that we have here and uh, that's uh, a very 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 fast efficient way and uh, and a very pleasant enjoyable uh, energy and, and way to, to create uh, music so it's uh, and of course we have uh, learned uh, how to cook uh, because he's um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's a master chef are, are you really I'm pretty mean in the kitchen yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm doing well, if I told you to cook for me now you got 30 minutes what would you cook Nice chicken breast, maybe with some, uh, with some, uh, you know, some pan sauce, you know, some brick chicken with pan sauce. Would you like that? No, off you go. <laughs> I'm already. <laughs> 29 <laughs> minutes left. Uh, 20 min minutes left. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we can whip up uh, pan uh, seared chicken and pan sauce in 29 minutes. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm going to hold you to that. I also want to. I want to learn. Maybe not now, but when we come to Malmo, you boys are teaching me how to rap in Estonian. Because I, I would love to. I would love to give that a go. I've loved hearing about kind of the uh, creative processes that you guys are going through. This album sounds really exciting, um, but I'm sure you're not disciplined all the time. You're a hip hop group. Uh, these guys look like they've got a cheeky glint in their eye as well. Well, so I want to hear about some of the antics and I heard that when you were in Barcelona did you go out for a party guys or you were going out for a party you spoke to one of our team there and said you were going out for a party what does uh, a Visminust and a Pulup party look like what would we be getting up to uh, hazy memories uh, but we I think we did we did end up going to the party we had randomly an Estonian stand-up comic performing in Barcelona so we went to see him uh, what else happened Marco was the main networker. He oh, went yeah, to yeah. all the after yeah. parties and the main parties and uh, talked to all the I other think people. Marco, Marco and Rama, 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 Rama talked with uh, all all the participants in the Eurovision, pretty much. I think. I have a feeling that these two are going to be the bad influence of the collab, <laughs> rather than what you would think the other way around. Yeah, they outlasted us for a couple of nights. So yeah, yeah. Yeah. Really? I feel I need to show you how a British guy does when it comes to when it comes to partying and drinking. Um, Guys, I might actually get you to teach me a little bit of Estonian rap now. Can we give it a go before we wrap up? Wrap up uh, like that? Oh, I see what you did there. Uh, that wasn't even intentional. <laughs> so you want to hear uh, our own song or what? Maybe okay. take the first uh, verse from... Uh, With the instrument. And can I just apologise? Can I just apologise to Estonia before I do this? All right. Me pole narkomani pole mida kiideind Kleidib meie seljas on brügi kästi leid Politsei kronika ja suvilas on reid Vainus koit, mis näha täis pandi pudeleid Now you! Hey! <laughs> Guys, I need it a little bit slower than that, but maybe when we get to Malmo, we can slow it down and, you know, maybe you, if you're looking much, for a... You pretty much spoke Estonian because A means uh, no in Estonian, so it's, it's something. All right, well, I'd rather say yes, because that was fantastic, That's but... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's easy for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, let's take one sentence. All right, go on, let's do uh, it. Kleidit, 
Kleidit, Meie, Meie, Seljas, Seljas, On, On, Brügi Kasti Leid. Brugi Kasti Leid. That means, that means that the dresses you wear are from from dumpster. Uh, oh, sorry. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> dumpster find. Our dumpster find. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, if you are ever looking for a fifth member, I'm happy to keep rehearsing. Uh, but guys, an absolute pleasure to talk to you and hear about this creation process. Um, and thank you for bringing the fun to Eurovision this year. Uh, we can't you. wait to see you guys on stage at Mama. And I'm sure you've got a few surprises up your sleeve. Sure. Always. Might be, yeah. We'll see. I Energy. never expect you to tell me, though, because you look like the most serious. Energy's free. Energy's free. Yeah, free my boy Energy. He done did nothing. We might, we might, we might, come, we might come without sleeve also. That might oh, okay, okay, okay. No tricks in our sleeves because we have no sleeves. Yeah. We're going to get the guns out, the muscles. Sure. <laughs> well, you need to, need, need to work with that. Yeah. Uh, guys. He's doing uh, pull-ups regularly. No, no, no. Full loop pull-ups. He can do. He can do a no hand pull-up. I look forward to seeing that, Imam. But guys, thank you so much for talking to us, and uh, we can't wait to see you perform tonight. I'm sure it'll be great. Yeah, yeah it will. Man. See you there. Enjoy. Thank Cheers, you, boys. Thank, thank you very much. See you.